This is the future. Now, I'll be straightforward with you and ask this very important question right away. Are you even excited about the Duveri Paradox update? Did all those build-ups help you get hyped even more for Warframe's big update? Or, are you looking on a different side, and thinking that the delays made it a boring update now? Let me know in the comments section below. Why did you ask this squad leader? Are you not excited or interested in Duveri Paradox anymore? Well, all the things you hear in this video are just based on my personal opinion and that is why I would like to hear your opinion too. Regarding the matter, I am thrilled to see that Digital Extremes are still supporting the game, and new updates are coming this year and beyond, but based on what I'm hearing from the Warframe community, the Grind Shack community, my friends, and some random chad from the comment section and also in the game, most of them don't find the update interesting no matter Digital Extremes do or tease. Even with the recent leaks, that spice up things a little bit, the player base seems to just show no interest in the upcoming content. So, let me ask you this, are you not excited about Duveri Paradox? Truly, this is the first time that I'm baffled by the fact that an update is not well received by the audience. So what is going on? Is it the delay in the update that is causing this? Or is it something else? Lately, we have received some information on leaks about other upcoming features that the Duveri Paradox update will have. Aside from the Drifter open world, we will get in canon adapters that allow us to evolve weapons with predetermined stats, or even mechanics that somehow proc buffs for a certain weapon. In addition to that, there was also a leak about Drifter holding an intrinsic system wherein we can upgrade the riding, combat, endurance, and even the luck of our Drifter in the new open world. But still, this wasn't enough to pique the interest of the Warframe player base. So what is the problem? Well, there's no problem at all. The answer is that the players just don't like it. I know many of you are looking forward to playing a new experience in Warframe, and Digital Extremes prepared you for that starting at the new war, continuing on the Veil Breaker update and now, finally, we will get an open world wherein we just don't play Warframes, but also space teenagers. It's not even about Warframes, but all about a grown space kid roaming around an open area which is I think, one of the main reasons why players don't even like the update. I give props to Digital Extremes for experimenting and trying out new stuff in Warframe but, some players are still hopeful that Digital Extremes would stay true to the nature of the game. They say that it's called Warframe for a reason. Indeed, we can still access Warframes in the planes to those statues scattered around the planes of Duveri but, most players just don't like playing a slow paced game anymore. Honestly, sometimes, I feel like Digital Extremes are just preparing their player base for their new game called Soul Frame. Think of it, they are implementing gameplay in Warframe which is similar to Soul Frame. Wait, what is Soul Frame Squad Leader? I am new to Warframe and knows nothing about it. Well, it's the complete opposite of Warframe, where Warframe is a fast paced shooter set in a sci-fi universe, Soul Frame is a fantasy MMO with an emphasis on melee combat. Soul Frame is also going to have a large, open world hub serving as its overworld, with the developer adding that the team wants this game to have a much greater focus on exploration, whereas Warframe is about killing hordes and looting stuff. It's the complete opposite of Warframe but, we are seeing a glimpse of Soul Frame gameplay in Warframe, take for example Kill Garrison missions, the new war also has some glimpse of how slow paced gameplay, and afterward, we will be handed with Duveri Paradox which is the epitome of all these Soul Frame shenanigans. By the way, don't make this part a general public's opinion, as I'm only sharing my thoughts regarding this matter from here on forward. Honestly, implementing some slow paced gameplay into Warframe, and not involving any Warframe is only a mini game for Warframe and Digital Extremes must not think that they can incorporate more of this into the game. It's a big failure to be honest, as just look at Gull's Garrison mission. Although it can give you some decent rewards, but man, it gets boring after a couple of runs. If somehow, Digital Extremes are trying to incorporate Soul Frame gameplay into Warframe, so that we can familiarize how their next game would play, then they must stop it right now and focus on making Warframe the ninja, space-killing power fantasy game that we have known for years. 
they should understand Warframe and Soulframe are two very different games and if they want to advertise their new game, then better do it in dev stream segments and not incorporate it in Warframe, honestly, I myself are not looking forward to the gameplay of Duveri Paradox, but the post content that it will bring in Warframe, there's the weapon evolution that I am looking forward to, as I am hoping to see mastery rank fodder weapons get some love. The drifter intrinsic though, well, I don't think it would be that useful since most of the time we are using our Tenno instead of the drifter. Cosmetic wise, the space kids are still great and, most of those new drifter intrinsics will be used in the open world areas of Duveri. For some reason, I think we will be forced to do drifter quests to get those Incarnate adapters and other stuff for Duveri Paradox. Imagine it as Cal's garrison but now, you will be tasked to do it in open world. Fuck. The horse gameplay, the drifter gameplay, the new open world that only involves drifter and a little bit of Warframe, I guess. Well, it makes sense now why many players don't like it because it's not the Warframe brand that we enjoyed for years. It's a different game inside Warframe, and I don't know if you feel the same way, but it would probably last for months until we get all the needed stuff, then starts to be another content island. And boss fights? What are the boss fights in Duveri Paradox? Are we going to take down that big Orokin worm, Dominus Thrax, or just play around with those Dax soldiers? I hope that Digital Extremes surprised us with something unexpected for Duveri Paradox and somehow, I am wishing that they have delayed Duveri Paradox so they can balance the Warframe gameplay and Drifter to make it work, and not just go with the initial plan of doing a Drifter only open world. While it's new and refreshing, we have experienced how it will play out in Warframe, and I don't know if many will be pleased with by this gimmick. Now, I would really want to know your take on this so, let's discuss it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, squad leader signing off.